morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about a health challenge, a frustrating health challenge that you're having problems dealing with, that a loved one or family member or workmate is having problems dealing with, we can help you, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulation, skin care, something you may have heard about or read about in the newspaper or in the mainstream media, we can help you understand understand whatever it is in the world of health and nutrition, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also call the Bright Side Ben team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our skin health products, truth treatment products, you can go to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a especially long look at our retinol 5% gel, especially if you're dealing with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, accelerated aging, wrinkles, or if, uh, if you've got a teenager in your family, or if you are a teenager, or if you're not a teenager and you're an adult dealing with acne or, or pimples, retinol is an awesome, awesome way to prevent the formation of blemishes and pimples to accelerate their healing as well. And of course, our retinol 5% gel not only is made with 5% retinol, which you're not going to find anywhere, it's also made with a whole bunch of vitamin C, never any preservatives, never any fillers or waxes, all 100% active or functional ingredients in all of our truth treatment formulations. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls here in our second or third segment, depending on how many calls we get. We're talking hormones and hormone health. This is a critically important subject when it comes to health, when it comes to nutrition as well, for a couple of reasons. For one thing, hormones represent a major control point for all health issues and all disease issues. It represents, hormones represent, represent our major control point over our health and over our lack of health. Health and illness, health and disease are two poles of a wellness continuum. All the way to the left side of our continuum, you have disease. All the way to the right side, on the other end of our continuum, you have health. And this continuum, this health or non-health or disease or health continuum is completely regulated by hormones. As important as nutrition is, both macronutrition, protein, fats, carbohydrates, fiber and water, and micronutrition, vitamins and minerals, as important as they are, ma macro and micronutrition, their significance, their relevance to our health or our lack of health is via hormones. Nutrition involves, uh, nutrition makes, uh, turns, on that, the, the, turns on healthy hormones or nutrition or lack of nutrition will turn on stress hormones. So when we're well nutriated, we're making 
happy hormones. We're making healthy hormones. We're making building hormones. When we're not nutriated, we're making stress hormones, breakdown hormones, emergency hormones, fear hormones. And that's just, this is why nutrition is so important. It's a control point for hormonal health. When we're well nutriated, we're going to produce the hormones of growth and repair. When we're under nutriated, we're going to produce the hormones of stress and breakdown. Nutrition is vitally important, obviously, but it's important via this hormone connection. A second major control point. Nutrition is one control point. A second major control point, which is unfortunately marginalized, and in my opinion, not given anywhere near the amount of importance that it should, not treated with anywhere near the amount of respect that it should be, this control point is our thoughts and our emotions. It is this control point that is what accounts for what's called the placebo effect, the great mystery. How is it that we can think that a pill works and then it will work? How does this occur? That's what the placebo effect is. A sugar pill will cause exactly the same kind of response, for better or worse, that a real drug will, simply by our belief. This is so phenomenal and it's something nobody ever talks about. We can think ourselves healthy. We're simply by believing a medicine will work, even if it's just a sugar pill, it'll work. And this is one of, this may be the most important of the ugly little secrets of our drug company model of health. Of course, the, the most important ugly little secret is that drugs don't do anything for our health. They mask our symptoms, period. There's not a drug on planet Earth that will reverse your degenerative disease. I don't understand how our medical professionals, our esteemed medical professionals, can't get this through their collectively stupid brains. A statin drug doesn't cure heart disease. A diabetes drug doesn't reverse diabetes. There aren't any drugs that will reverse degenerative disease. They mask symptoms. And that's a really ugly little secret about pharmacology and about our pharmacological medical model. But a second ugly little secret that the drug companies don't want us to know, that the medical model doesn't want us to know, not necessarily the individual doctors, by the way. The individual doctors who are, are more often than not, they themselves are dupes. They themselves are useful idiots. They themselves have bought into the medical model. They themselves are entranced and they're carrying the water of, uh, of the drug companies and the device companies and the hospital companies. That's who owns the doctors, by the way. Your doctor doesn't work for you. He works for Kaiser. Your doctor doesn't work for you. He works for the HMO. So it's not the fault of the doctors. They're just hypnotized themselves. They're fooled themselves. They believe in the nonsense themselves because that's how they're trained. So it's not their fault. But the model itself is predatory and exploitative. And one of the major dirty little secrets that it doesn't want us to know is that we can believe ourselves healthy. That's called the placebo effect. And the placebo effect is so darn powerful that when drug companies are testing out drugs, they got to filter it out. they got to factor it in when they're testing their drugs. They do something called a double-blind study. you probably heard of this term, a double-blind study. What does double-blind mean? It means that when they're doing the study, the person taking the pill doesn't know what the pill is, whether it's real or not, and the person giving the pill doesn't know. The administrator of the pill doesn't know whether that's a sugar pill or whether it's real. Why would they have to, why would they have to hide the, uh, the nature of the medicine, whether it's real or not real, from the administrator? Because if the administrator of the pill knows that he's giving the patient a sugar pill, that will affect the results. How do you like that? Not only does the placebo effect affect the person who's taking the pill, it affects the administrator of the pill, and that's why they have to do a, bl a double-blind study. This, it, what I'm saying here, folks, is drug companies know that the mind affects how effective a treatment's going to be. The mind impacts the potency of a medicine. And this raises the obvious question, why do we even need the drugs? If our mind is so powerful, and has such a dramatic effect on the results of an experiment, why do we need the drug in the first place? This is the dirty little secret of pharmacology, and it represents a major, major point of power for us over our health. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will take a break and come back with more good health information and your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. We'll be back after this. All right, 
Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Farm Spend. Got a line open for you. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in checking out our uh, videos, we're doing YouTube videos on various health subjects. We did Alzheimer's disease and macular degeneration. We're going to do tinnitus on our next video. Go to criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up for the videos. You'll be notified when a new video is posted. And also, you can sign up for our newsletter, which we uh, send out every week. A couple times a week sometimes. Go to criticalhealthnews.com. You can order Longevity products off the website as well, criticalhealthnews.com. You can order Longevity products off of pharmacistben.com and brightsideben.com as well. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off all the websites, criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, so why do we even need drugs at all if we got a placebo effect? If we know that the mind is so powerful that you can change biochemistry and not only can it change biochemistry for us but if the administrator of a pill knows whether the pill is a sugar pill or a real pill it'll change our biochemistry that's how extensive this placebo effect is the power of the mind the power of suggestion is how hypnosis works why do we even need drugs at all wouldn't it be nice if we could just mentally control our biochemistry well we do we mentally control our biochemistry and the only reason we don't do it more and we don't do it with volition and intention and consciousness is because we're led to believe that we need our doctors. We're led to believe we need our drugs. We're led to believe we need somebody outside of ourselves. We need an authority. The word authority comes from the word author. When we go to an outside authority, which we hear all the time, how many, if you're watching television, how many times a day, how many times an hour do you hear, check with your doctor, ask your doctor, talk to your doctor, don't do anything without your doctor. This is a message to us at every turn to go outside ourselves, for an, to go to an outside authority, author, to have somebody else write our story. That's what it means when we go to an authority. Somebody else is writing our health story. How does that sound? Do we really want somebody else to write our health story? become our own authorities via this mental connection to our hormones this mind connection and this emotional connection to our hormones we can become our own authority via this placebo effect and via something called the no sibo effect the placebo effect is this is this biochemical phenomena that uh, that allows our body to be controlled for health via our mind and via our thoughts but the nocebo effect is the witch doctor effect it demonstrates that not only can the mind lead to health not only can our feelings and mental and uh, uh, mental uh, thoughts initiate the biochemistry of health but th our mental thoughts our mental nature and our feelings can also initiate the biochemistry of disease that's called the nocebo effect the nocebo effect is so significant that there's actually uh, an american health foundation nocebo conference i talked about the nocebo effect i call it the witch doctor effect this is where the ancient shaman the ancient witch doctor would give somebody the evil eye and they would drop dead that's a, this, is, this is what they used to do thousands of years ago. They still do it. Our high-tech society has, has doctors telling cancer patients they got six months to live. And guess what? They have six months to live because the doctor told them. Or the doctor would say, well, you're going to be on this medicine for the rest of your life. And guess what? We're on the medicine for the rest of our life. That's the nocebo effect. This, this power between the mind and our feelings and our bodies needs to be leveraged. It needs to be taken advantage of. For better or for worse it needs to be understood for better or for worse it needs to be taken advantage of for better make no mistake about it long-term chronic degenerative diseases whatever they are and fear go hand in hand there's no disease there's no disease without the endocrinology the hormones of fear cortisol and adrenaline and aldosterone fear is an internalized response to our environment and represents our control point over our health. If we want to free ourselves from the tyranny of the medical model, from pharmacology, from the poison of the medical model, the first place to start is with our beliefs of fear, our thoughts of fear, our emotions of fear. And it's understandable that we would be so impacted by fear that it would change our health, that it would change the parameters of our health. We live in a political environment of fear. We live in a marketing environment, a commercial environment of fear. That's how they sell us deodorant. Oh, you better wear this deodorant or you're not going to have any friends. 
you better buy this dress or you better buy this tie or you better buy these shoes or you better buy this stereo 